So 87 had an incident in qualifying, and we're fixing it the E30 way. You gotta, you gotta pound it again. Do it! It's not perfect, keep hitting it. So apparently someone, uh, Mazda slammed on its brakes, and there was an incident. We got Andrew in the truck. There we go. This is how you fix an E30, ladies and gentlemen. You won't see any of those expensive, like, 911s being fixed like this. <laughs> Oh, it's not broken. It's going back out. Well, at least, at least the six hours is over, so we don't need the uh, headlights anymore. Yes. Hey, Eric. Hey, Mom. All right. I think I think they fixed it. I think that's my jack stand buried in the ground. So, uh, lunchtime here at PBOC. Uh, I'm gonna stay in the shade because it's worn. Um, what happened? Um, that's not my car. <laughs> uh, apparently, in qualifying, I think there was a Miata. Yeah. Uh, Miata. Huh? MX5 uh, kind of brake checked 87, had nowhere to go, and luckily damage is minimal. I mean, he drove it in, so, you know, no foul. Uh, so, Christina, Lynn, and I are going to be all in the, uh, the E30s. Uh, so, uh, Christina will be driving the uh, white 105. I will be driving the blue 05, and then Lynn will be sharing the car with Wit, who's walking over there, and um, finishing the race in 881. So 881 is riding again. Always good. So Lynn, thoughts? Oceans. Just ridiculously fun. <laughs> ridiculously fun time here. Yeah. And it's only day two. Uh, Eric says congrats, Lynn and Christina. Hey, thanks, Eric. Oh, Susan's watching. Hi, Susan. Uh, is that Aaron? Hi, Robert? Susan. No, Aaron's not. He's, he doesn't care. He's not cool enough. Susan Casella? Yeah, Susan Casella's watching. Hey, Susan Casella, your, your boy's great. Taking good care of Robert here. Yep. I think he slept in, though, because I haven't seen him. Yeah, I haven't seen him either. So, I mean, he, he needs his beauty sleep. He needs his beauty sleep. So we just had uh, practice and qualifying for the 90-minute uh, enduro that starts at 1.15 today. Um, car number 84, which is one of the other E30s, um, qualified first. Witt killed it in Lynn's car in 881. He's second. I'm third in, um, in 105. Uh, and then Christina's in fifth. Uh, right behind me on the start, so uh, I think our uh, game plan is just to tuck together, and uh, we had a great, great time in practice. We had a little bump drafting, and we're working uh, tactics, um, because teamwork definitely won us the race yesterday, so uh, why change what works? Um, Christina's in the RV doing data, because that's, that's what she does. That's how she rolls. Um... So yeah, it's a, another beautiful day here at, at Sebring International Raceway. You cannot beat this Florida weather. Um, and I, think 80, I think 89 might be in fourth. I don't know. But uh, it was a uh, it was a one two three drive gear podium yesterday in the enduro. So awesome guy, uh, awesome congratulations to all the guys because we all killed it and it was kind of awesome. The one thing I'm salty about, and Lynn is salty about, and Christina is salty about, <laughs> is the fact that they don't have class trophies for uh, the six hour. It's just overall. So one, two, three, overall, get nice little trophies. Guess what we got? We got participation trophies. So, um, so yeah, I'm filing an official complaint. We worked our asses off out there.
out there. We want a little plaque that says first place. Um, yeah, it's nice sunny weather down here, Mom. You should, you should come visit. GT4 just rolling behind me. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, it's interesting out there on the racetrack because with the exception of a couple spec Miatas, we are one of the slower cars. And the closing speeds, I mean, we got GT3 Cup cars, we got, you know, old Conti cars, there's a couple uh, Conti uh, Camaros, uh, there's, uh, what else is out there? Oh, the World Challenge Vipers, those are out there, those are pretty. Um, what else do we have? We have lots of nice things. Oh, the Rackles, um, there's also, like, legit prototype cars um, out there. And they look awesome um, coming by. Just don't hit them. And what else? What else? Oh, me and Dan Raver. No, I haven't. I haven't had a chance to go find your mini. Lynn, my my mom asks, is there any house in your in your neighborhood for sale? Uh, probably. I have a good friend who's a realtor. We can find that out. All right. We, we know someone who can get you that information, Mom. We'll hook, we'll hook you up. Hey, Salsa! Hey, Christina has emerged! Woo! Okay, so the cat story. Um, his name's Wilbur. His name is Wilbur. We found this out. Um, so, about fourth to the race, uh, I was kind of settling into my stint, and Ra uh, Dan Raver was in 87, and he just came out of the pits in front of me, so he was warming up, I was kind of in my groove, so we were we were kind of going a little nose to tail, chilling out, and then through tur turn 15, I think, four, 14, 15 on the back of Chicane, um, I see Dan's car kind of wiggle and his brake lights flash, and then all of a sudden I see a cat. And I don't think either of us hit it, because I, I swerved to miss it. But um, apparently he is an orange tabby and is a uh, resident of Sebring, and we didn't hit him. Um, but he should not go out on track. Um, during a race, especially. I mean, I, I get this is his home, but um, cars versus cat. Not, not, not a cool thing. So, hey Tim. Uh, yeah, and this is only day three of five. I'm here till Sunday. Uh, so yeah, the the repairs are still going on. I think the hammers have gone away. We had a nice bonfire. What what flag is what? Oh, for the for the cat. Um, usually, if there's animals on track, they'll give you a debris flag with like the corner worker doing the like antlers. Oh, Maureen. And Maureen and Varsovia are probably sitting in the air conditioning. Yeah. Hi, Frank. So, you guys gonna go out and, like, drive around on track like this? There you go. Save the manual. Yeah. So, Varsovia's gonna be, uh, doing some DE. First time at Sebring. Yeah, buddy. You excited? Can't beat it. Oh, you guys are, uh... Alright, so, since since Frank is, is watching, let's get you some poor... Oh, there you go. GT3 for Frank. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, we got, we got some serious rigs happening up here. Um, we got No More Money Racing, which is a bunch of Miatas over there. Uh, really cool guys. We have our uh, resident DE car for shift up, and this is what Versovia and, uh, is going to be driving in DE. 
So perfect timing, Frank. You showed up when the GT3 showed up. My race suit's falling down. Okay, bye, bye, Frank. I've completed my uh, my mission. Oh yeah. So we got Miata's over there. I'll take I'll take you guys on a on a walk through the. Uh, yeah, Frank, stay around for like five minutes because I'm going where there's like eight GT3s. That's the uh, timing tower over there. The snack shack, home of the most delicious breakfast sandwiches. And I don't know whether it's just I'm hungry or uh, or what. I hear cars coming up behind me. Oh, there's a BMW. A BMW. Oh, there's another GT3. got run over. So these are the cool little kit cars. Uh, Dad, we're staying in the RV that I was uh, standing next to. So the RV is pretty, uh, pretty sweet. So here's the purple uh, GT3 that, uh, GT3 RS, sorry, that I took pictures of yesterday. Ooh, Camaro. So here you go, Frank. Here. Are, are you not entertained? Good boys. There you, there you go, Frank. All there. All there. And then for the Miata people, there's Miatas. There's the new uh, MX-5 Cup cars. Some of them were out in the uh, Enduro. I think one finished second overall, which is fucking awesome. So, cup car, spec boxer, radical. They have like their own radical cup race happening. There's a nice GT4 sitting there. a lot of fun because they have like nothing to them. Oh, and then there's a nice natural old stock that car. Which is pretty quick. And then uh oh FYI uh for sale. Anyone? Anyone? Ten grand? Ten grand? Anyone? Looks nice. Looks like fun. Just kind of sit in the middle. You know, I think I think it's like minimum you need a two car stacker for this event. So we got a nice E46, yeah, E46, and a nice Cayman. Everyone's looking at me weird, but I don't care. Um, more passion for the Frank. Coming up on the uh, radical tent, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, if you want to learn how to do hospitality, talk to these guys. That's cereal. And then the purple E36, which I kind of want to steal because it's purple. Radicals for days. I'm walking! I'm walking and I'm sore, so I'm not really watching how I'm walking. I'll try, I'll try to, I'll try to do this a little bit nicer for you guys. Um, but no, stick with me. Um, actually no, I think the invisible glass guy's left. So there's McLaren's here. That, that's why I was 
walking over to show you the Clarins. But I guess I'll just show you the new cupboard. Oh, there's one for sale. Frank, are you still here? There's one for sale. So I don't, uh, oh yeah, they're all radicals. I didn't think they were. So here we go. Frank, this is the content you were waiting for. Look at it. Yeah, the, uh, this one's for sale. Just saying. And Frank, if you are still here, that's for you. Look at it. It's so cute. So that's the uh, GS Camaro that is pretty quick. So I don't know if cars are on track right now, but we'll mosey. Mosey, 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 mosey. Um, and then there's... Um, there's Super Solo, which I guess is the equivalent of, like, DE4, um, and then there's the Instructor slash Solo group, which is DE3-ish, I don't know, um, Stalin, so yeah, and now I can't see my phone, so I have to do, like, the glance back up and down, Ooh. oh, they were coming off, okay, that's why they were going so slow. Because some of the cars that were coming off are now in the pit. Or the paddock. So yeah, kids. Um, race goes off at 1.15. It's 90 minute enduro. Christina and I are doing it alone. Lynn is tag teaming. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to live that. Um, I might be a little busy driving. I still have to figure out how to live from inside the car. I think I found an AC plug. Which means... I can live stream a race, as long as I can figure out how to secure my phone somewhere. So yeah, that, that should be uh, my next adventure. And uh, hope everyone is, it's only Friday. I hope everyone's enjoying their Friday, cause I am. Cause how bad's this? Look at that. Meow. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what I'm dealing with. So. Bye guys.